If you have ever written a research article and submitted it to a peer-reviewed journal, you might be curious to know what will happen next. What is the whole process and how would you know the status of your paper? In today's video, I will explain what actually happens when you submit a manuscript to a journal, the peer review process and how to check the current status of your article. In my previous videos, I have covered how to choose a research topic, how to write a review and research paper, how to check for plagiarism, how to choose suitable journal to publish your article. All the links are given in the description. Now let's see what happens after uploading a paper to a journal. After submission, the journal will perform an initial quality check in which they check for plagiarism, basic formatting, manuscript length, references and so on. If they find any of these issues, they return back the manuscript and ask you to fix these issues. The journal sometimes also sends email to all the authors of the paper to get their consent for the submitted paper to be published. If everything is ok, an editor is assigned to your paper. Editor takes the initial decision if the paper is suitable for the journal or not. Editor mostly rely on the cover letter, abstract and conclusion of the paper. Editor also looks if the paper is impactful, novel and falls under the scope of the journal or not. The editor also coordinates between the authors and the reviewers. Remember that mostly only the corresponding author of the paper who has uploaded the manuscript receives all these notifications through email. Additionally, the corresponding author can also log in and check the status of the paper at the journal's portal. He or she can check if the paper has assigned an editor, is under review, need revision or rejected. Few journals also email the link to all the co-authors of the paper to check its status. If the editor finds the work suitable for the journal, it sends it ideally to two or more reviewers for its critical evaluation. The reviewers may be scientists, professors or postdoctoral researchers who have proven experience in the related areas. The reviewer may or may not accept the invitation to review the paper. If they decline, then the editor sends invitation to review the manuscript to other reviewers. During submission, the editor may ask from authors the names of few reviewers but it is not always necessary that those will be chosen by the editor to review your paper. When paper is under review, the reviewers provide the comments about major or minor shortcomings of your paper. They provide their feedback to the editor which is then conveyed back to the authors. The reviewers are generally given 2 to 3 weeks of time to check and provide their feedback about the submitted paper. Sometimes the reviewer may ask the editor to extend their time to review the paper. The reviewer may choose to reject, perform minor revision or major revision based upon his evaluation. Based upon the individual responses obtained from the reviewers, the editor makes a final decision to reject or revise the paper along with any comments received from the reviewers. The same is conveyed to the corresponding author of the paper. If the manuscript was found suitable, then it is straightforwardly accepted. In case reviewers and editor do not find the paper suitable for publication, the manuscript is rejected. If the decision was to revise, then depending upon the type of revision that is major or minor, the editor may ask the authors to submit the revised manuscript in few days to few weeks time. The revised manuscript by the authors is again sent to the reviewers through the same editor to see if the changes are appropriately made and satisfactory. If some changes are still required, the reviewer may suggest to make more changes. But usually by this time the reviewers decide to accept or reject. But the final decision to accept or reject the manuscript is in the hands of the editor. Upon acceptance, the authors are notified. A formatted copy of paper is sent to the authors to proofread and check if any mistakes were left. At this time, all the authors should critically check the manuscript because after this, no corrections can be made and it will be sent for publication. The process of assigning an editor, searching reviewers, reviewing, proofreading and accepting the submitted paper and finally to publishing it may range anywhere between 2 to 12 weeks. In extreme cases, it may be even more. So that's all for the today's video. If you find the information useful, do like and share. Comment or email me about any research related queries. Check my playlist on research, techniques, immunity, markers, transcriptome related subjects. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay informed about my latest upload. And finally, thanks for watching.